Bruce Anderson to get us underway here at Capital and we're off and running. Reading it is once again. Takes it. Strong challenge from McPay, but that ball breaks up towards the edge of the box. Anderson's onto it. That flash tries to drop it inside to Smith. Smith checks back. Plays it down to Anderson. Anderson trying to go into his right foot and get a shot away, but she does, and McAdams does well to get down and hold that. Fjortov steps in, picks the ball away from Anderson. Now he heads down the channel. McPake wants it into his path, takes it. Challenge coming in, McPake does well. Heading down towards the line, checks back, looking to go into his right foot and get the crossover. He chips the ball into the box. Orsi has to do the 360, but he plays it out to Strap. Strap wants to go into left foot and fire a shot, which he does! There's a bit trying to go on the ball, it breaks out to Muirhead on that far side, he drops it in short, the dangerous Moffat steps over, Anderson now with a chance to get a shot away, bounces off the post, unbelievable luck there for Morton, just superb play and just a nice crack as well towards goal Andy. Yeah it was a, a great bit of play there. It's not ball. over yet Andy, it's not over yet as the ball yeah. breaks inside the box, now it goes and Moffat really exposing it there and that really really unlucky for Bruce Anderson, there's no way you can do anything about that if it comes no. off the post and that's it. He's got a great first touch on it to set the shot up, very very fortunate for Morton there, it came off the post in the right manner, right back towards the goalkeeper. Which once again down the line, Orsi's underneath it, your head stabs it forward. Headed back inside, but chance for McAllister, does well, picks it up, heads towards the halfway line, he's impeded, but he goes on anyway, played to Orsi, Orsi now, Morton breaking in strength, breaking in numbers, McPake trying to go into that right foot, he's going to fire one away, blocked by the defender, Roscoe pumps it up towards the halfway line, Josh McPake once again, just the difference for Morton at the moment, trying to create an opportunity. Short throw in, back to Strap, he's looking to play it out. Does so, picked up on that far side. Nice touch, looking to go onto the left foot, down to the right foot, fires a shot down, super save by the goalkeeper. Baird blocks it, knocks it away. Wonderful play. That's one to be chased down by Anderson. McLean keeps him in close attendance though. Cuts inside McLean though, he's got away, he's trying to go onto his right foot, stabs it forward. Ball breaks inside for Smith, Smith retains possession, he tries to play it back across, and it's into the back of the net, and that looks to me like an own goal, wonderful play from Smith, he cracks the shot away, it comes off a Morton defender, I'm trying to see who it is Andy, it's in the back of the net and we have a situation here in 32 minutes of Morton nil, Air United 1. Yeah, look, look Lewis Strap, we've got the last touch on it to send down the top of the net, but we've been saying throughout the first half Jerry, how dangerous they are doing the left hand side like that, so it's a ball played up along the side here that Anderson's got on and he's shown good pace to get in, nice touch, got inside, Got the ball played across the box, but a bit unfortunate. Strappy couldn't do anything about that. He stuck his foot out and turned it up into the roof of the net, Jerry. Orsi picks it up, takes it right footed, tries to get down the line, plays it back across. Nobody inside the box looking for that one, and now McCowan brings it clear for Air United, racing up towards the halfway line. As Morton have four or five jerseys chasing back as well. Yeah, we got the ball across the box here, and the experienced player read the bit of play off it. Inside, to Moffat on his right foot, he's going to fire a shot, it breaks off a Morton defender, but only as far as Reading, and his scarfed shot goes out that far side, and almost the perfect counter-attack. Dorsey goes in, does well, playing off Roscoe, it's back inside, he just misses out the challenge, blues, and it comes up towards the halfway line now. Moffat turns away, he plays it inside to Smith, Smith, bit of movement here, plays it out in that right-hand side to McCowan, McCowan has to be careful, just coming across, play back and stabbed out for yet another corner kick, and the danger of United on this counter-attack. Reading picks it up, chips it high towards the back line once again, Fjortov's underneath, gets the header up, Chalmers does well though, Smith tries to knock it out to the ever eager Moffat, he's trying to go onto that right foot, he is going to try and fire a shot, chips it back though, and now Smith once again, that's the position he scored the goal from, Morton have to be careful here, he does it again, just dancing feet from Smith, he really is a danger here. Oh, yeah. The front three are dangers like that, they have been the whole first half. Stop the cross, shouts the manager, but the cross comes over regardless and it's stabbed clear once again, but Morton's struggling to clear the lines at the moment and Smith does well, he fires a right foot shot down past the post and once again, Cammy Smith, I'm getting tired of seeing his name Andy, but he's playing really, really well, he seems to be left, right, he's firing shots away and he is one of the danger men for that yeah. United attack. He's a wee bundle of energy, isn't he? The Murdoch now, Murdoch, once again, down to Moffat. Spins away, drops it down to Reading, back to Chalmers. Chalmers advances forward, weighing up his options. Drops it in short, 
Nice pass into the feet of Moffat. He tries to go into his left foot, but he gives it to Smith. Smith plays it back across. Anderson just fires a pass. Superbly worked move there by the honest men as we hit the 45th minute. And I honestly thought, Andy, that was goal number two. Moffat gets it inside, but the challenge comes in. And now McPake, a little bit of space. Two men coming on to him right away, but he heads down towards the channel and is but backs off. Oh, strong challenge. Referee right over. That will yep. surely be a red card. Indeed, yep. as you could hear the howls coming from the dugout, and absolutely no question that, that it is the end of the game. And rightly so, Andy for Aaron Muirhead, he takes the first red of the game. That's a shocking challenge, no doubt about that. You know, that's what I was saying earlier on in the first half. He'll be the most foul player at Capello this season. Nisbet does indeed aim for the penalty spot and it's punch cleared by the goalkeeper and it looked easier just to try and get down and hold it. Yeah, it's difficult though when the wind's blowing about like that but the keeper pushed it out further enough away not to have been a problem for him on the way back. Ball high up in the air, taken beautifully down by McCown. He tries to slip it in for Smith, he's inside the box now and he rifles the ball into the bottom corner. A very well worked goal by Air United, you have to say super take from McCown, plays it into the path of Smith and he fires it into the bottom corner and it's Morton nil, Air United too. Yeah, we've been sloppy again for the last couple of minutes here around about the box. It's a loose ball across, I don't know whether it was a misplaced pass there, but the combination play between the Air United forward here was excellent, Jerry. Credit where credit's due. Played a nice V1-2 and then slipped through. Uh, is that Freddie Mercury on that far side with the ball? Just up in the cow shed, oh. I believe it could be the former Queen's <laughs> He wants to break It is indeed, yeah. Is it? yeah. There, there it is, Freddie Mercury. Difficult to actually see the ball in these conditions, Andy, with the, the rain, as you can see, just in front of the floodlight there. The passing, the control hasn't been as sharp as Air United's today, and they've created more chances around about the box because of that. Strap once again, the high ball, McKeever's chasing that down, gets a beautiful touch, gets inside the box, gets beyond the defender, it breaks inside, Oliver picks it up, strokes it into the back of the net, and Morton with seven minutes left to play, a right back in it Andy. Yeah, well it's just a long ball there, I was thinking to myself it was a nothing ball, but it put the defender under pressure, yeah, they've got through on top of it, a wee bit scrappy at the end, but great composure by Gary Oliver, he could have hit it off, play off it to get back onto the, the goal line like that, and he didn't, he took it inside, he put it away. Everybody inside the Air United half at the moment. McLean stabs it down towards McGuffey. He plays it back infield to McGinty. McGinty will have to go back towards his goal, take it onto his left foot, and now he'll look to play a diagonal, will he, Andy? Yeah, they'll try and play the ball back post again, see if they can get a touch down on it. Now's the time to go and attack the box. There you go. Back inside, and the chance is in and in! Unbelievable! Morton are right back in this game with the equaliser. I'm trying to see who it was just down there. I think it was Cammy Blues. I think it may have been Gary Oliver, my friend, I'm not sure. No, nope, I think it was Cammy Blues, he took it inside the box, yeah, took it down, it. and I can tell you now, with six minutes left to play, it's Morton 2, Air United 2, and we could still get the three points here, Andy. Yeah, I could hardly see for the rain and the wind that was blowing round about, but it's direct again, Jerry. when I said get it over to the back post and see if we can get a knock down on it. That happened that way. Yeah. Uh, what a turnaround. Now, advances towards the halfway line. Urgency about Morton, excitement here for myself and Andy as they try to come forward and get that winning goal. The strap plays it out to McAllister. Switched out to McLean. Patience from Morton now. As McLean tries to fire up towards Strap. He's inside the box. He heads it down inside. Yes. It's in the back of the net! Unbelievable from Morton! Superb ball inside the box. Lewis Strap with a bandage around his head. Gets his head onto it, it's in the back of the net, and we now have a situation of Morton 3, Air United 2, Andy Ritchie, what do you make of that? Well, 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 Jerry, what about all that? The last 10 minutes, we went direct, one ball's in round about the box, got support up, overloaded the box with players, and we've been successful. We were down and out 15 minutes ago, no doubt about that, and Morton have showed all the spirit in the world to get themselves back in again. Well, I could hear fire, what's going on somewhere, Andy? I don't know if somebody's celebrating prematurely. Morton leading by three goals to two, 94 minutes played here at Capital Park. There you go, Jerry. There goes indeed, the referee calls a halt to proceedings. Well, the excitement we've had this afternoon, Andy, 2-0 down with 10, 12 minutes to go. That's football for you, Jerry. just when you think you've 
you've got it all to do, you know, that goal to get back in at 2 1's made all the difference. Great endeavour, great fighting spirit amongst everybody in the team like that. David, where to start? <laughs> yeah, no, I know. It was a. Uh... I thought the first half uh, we, we gave two pair too much respect. I think you can see the quality players they have. We uh, brought Bruce Anderson from Aberdeen, they've got young Cammy Smith in from Dundee United, they got Moffat, they were really good footballers, really talented. And just thought we get caught, but I think we managed the storm. I thought we had a couple of half chances, we had two or three decent chances early in the game. And then uh, it says at half time, it says to the players that we really need to go and score a goal now, obviously. Uh, and we had to be sent off for a, for a tackle on Josh McTate and then uh, United scored again and then I think well, what do we do but just need to be patient I thought we had one goal back and uh, that's what happened and then also we're going to score three goals in seven minutes You always talk about the spirit in this side I mean let's not forget the talent as well but the spirit today just to come back from 2-0 down to win 3-2 Yeah well we, 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 I just spoke about it after the game I spoke about it at half time all my teams that are playing in uh, no matter what happens in the game and you stay in the game as long as you can. I think when we went 2-0 down, uh, I thought, what kind of spirit do we have? And it came out in abundance because we've scored three fantastic goals. People can see with anything they want, but they're well what goals. The time and the runs, the finishing in them. And as I said, Gary Oliver's come on, he's given that bit of experience. I think he's, his first touch to take around two defenders and then passing the end to the end is fantastic. Then I'm delighted for Blues it. Because as I said, some boys might not be having the best of the game, but they give me that desire. And, I, and he's got forward and actually scored the equaliser and then as I say the young strap he's got his bandage on and great ball from Brian McLean again and it's a fantastic header so no I'm delighted I'm delighted for everybody I'm sure if the Morton fans seen another entertaining game at Cattle well, yeah, I mean you couldn't make it up for, for Lewis I mean there he is he scores an own goal he's back on the side he, he's back on with a bandage and, and I was saying to him earlier it's not just the fact he scored the winning goal it was the way he placed the header he knew exactly what he was doing you say placed that's <laughs> misplaced <laughs> but you have no, you worked on that no, in training that's yeah, something you no, do the yeah, diagonal ball yeah, yeah but it's he, he, he's a fantastic kid I said he, he's not played the last few games he's came in I asked him before the game to, to give him a performance he did he said he scored an own goal we forget about it because we know, we know he's got that, uh, that desire and as I said he, he's actually played the ball back made a long distance run into a box and, and scored a fantastic header so no, he's a 20 year old kid he, these are the things where everybody that plays for me knows it doesn't matter what age you are mm. where you can throw your can where you can for another club but if you're prepared to work keep that spirit then you've always got a chance and I think that's anybody who's watched the game today will see that the, the whole squad and staff are wanting abundance and let's not forget of course the points it takes you above Air United now as well yeah I think I think today we were we were using them a tough game really tough game and we, we, we see the same thing with, with Kyle he was at least 80 90 percent and I need 100 percent Kyle yeah. do you know what I mean so uh, I put Blues in there to say we have more attacking options, maybe less a wee bit exposed. But it says, one's 2 0 and the, 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 the 10 men, I think they were trying to sit and hold on to what they had. And as I say, three fantastic long balls in the box and we scored three goals from it. Well, David, congratulations on a fantastic victory. I mean, I don't know what you were like in the dugout, we were having heart attacks <laughs> up in Coventry, but once again, congratulations. Thanks very much, Jared. Cheers. Lewis, Fatba, what about it? Eh? I know. What a result eh, to get the winner over the moon. Eh, but you see it time and time again, coming from 2-0 down. We've done it last year, countless amount of times. So, to get the winner over the moon. For your own perspective, you're back into the side today. You have the sickener of the own goal that you can do nothing about. Uh, but what a finale. Uh, the own goal, you know, there's a few bodies in front of me. and do it every day in training. I'm stopping shots, get my body in front of everything. But, just unfortunately, the day that I hit my toe, it was some finish. But Did you feel it 2-0? It was over. I know you didn't see the goal, you were getting treatment. Aye, I was time. getting the treatment and I didn't get to see the second goal. Didn't know what happened, but no. Nah, you know, the, the spirit we've got in the changing room, boys like Calvin and that, you know, the spirit's high. The, the goal that you scored at the end, I mean, let's be honest, that's the sort of thing you've been working on in training, that diagonal ball into the box. Yeah, we'd, we'd done it countless amount of times in training uh, during pre season, so glad just to finally get one to work with me on the end of it, especially. Well, I've got to say, I mean, I don't know if you're a nosebleed, but you're a nosebleed thinking, what's, what's he doing that far out of the park? Uh, I think last, maybe two years ago when I started, uh, I missed one up there at Partick Thistle, very similar, headed it wide, and uh, now today, thankfully finished it. 
probably seen about three bars when I was looking, but <laughs> <laughs> the right one. Well, you hit the right one, but the thing about it as well was the control of the finish. You didn't just go for power, you placed uh, it into the bottom corner. Knock it right past you, cross the keeper, do you know what I mean? Striker's instinct and that. And let's not forget, those points take us above yeah. United in the table as well. Yeah, I think they were on was it four points, they've got a win and a draw, so what's that, two points ahead now, so now we just need to keep going, you know, we will pick up wins across the season, obviously, so not delighted. Well, back from the death, you are the man of the match, you win the man of the match award, and I'm going to ask Calvin if you'd come in and do the honours. Right. Calvin, to your the team. The man of the hour, there you go, my man. <laughs> back to Calvin, my man. Come on, the Martin. <laughs> well done, boys, thank you.